Advanced airway. Step one, washed hands. Items two through four can be done in any order. Step two, assessor prompt. What equipment should be set out and checked for endotracheal intubation? Student response? Oxygen, an AMBU bag, an AMBU bag mask, induction drugs, oral airways, suction, an endotracheal tube, a 10 cc syringe, a laryngoscope handle and blades, a stylet, a CO2 detector, a stethoscope, lubricant, and tape or a commercial securing device. Step three, student stated, I am confirming the patient's identity with at least two identifiers and performing a timeout. Step four, put on gloves, eye protection, and mask. Masks with fluid shields will be provided for all. Step five, oral airway placed correctly, curved up toward hard palate first, then rotated, or inserted with a tongue blade directly. Verbalize that someone was bagging patient before and after insertion. Um, someone's gonna be bagging the patient while I get this ready, and then after I insert it. Step six, assessor prompt. If patient has a gag reflex, what would you consider next? Student response? Induction drugs or paralytics. Items seven through 10 can be done in any order. Step seven, checked that AMBU bag was connected to O2 source. Checked light on laryngeal scope blade. Step nine, checked cuff of ET tube by inflation with 10 cc syringe. Syringe must be removed to ensure no leak in cuff, then deflated cuff. Step 10, placed stylet into ET tube without tip protruding past end of tube. Step 11, verbalized lubrication of ET tube, instructor will spray task trainer. I'm gonna lubricate the tube. Items 12 through 14 can be done in any order. Step 12, removed oral airway. Step 13, head tilt chin lift performed. Step 14, Assessor prompt, how long should you persist in the attempt to place the ET tube before bagging again? Student response? As long as I can hold my breath. Once ventilation stopped, held their breath to intubate, aborted attempt when breathless. Items 15 through 17 can be done in any order. 15, opened mouth with right hand while using scissor technique inserted laryngoscope using the left hand and swept tongue from right to left. Step 16, tip of blade placed correctly. Assessor prompt, where is the tip of the blade? Student response? In the vollecula. Or? Over the epiglottis if I was using a straight blade. Step 17, lifted handle up and away from operator without touching the teeth. Step 18, right hand place the ET tube through vocal cords, assessor prompt, where is the end of the tube? Student response? One to two centimeters below the cords. 
Items 19 through 20 can be done in any order. Step 19, inflated tube and removed syringe. Step 20, removed stylet while securing the tube with the other hand. Step 21, attached AMBU bag to CO2 detector, then to ET tube. Items 22 through 24 can be done in any order. Step 22, firmly held ET tube through duration of placement and until secured. Step 23, assessor prompt. What do you see that suggests proper intubation? Student response? Chest rise, condensation in the tube, or CO2 detection. Step 24, directed assistant to auscultate for proper placement by first listening over the epigastrum, then at bilateral axilla while patient was being ventilated. Step 25. If intubation was successful, student stated, I would secure the tube. Student then secured the tube. If right main stem intubation occurred, student stated, I would deflate the balloon, back the tube out until bilateral breath sounds are heard, and then secure the tube. Student then secured tube as though successful. If intubation was unsuccessful, student stated, I would deflate the balloon and remove the tube. I would then reattempt. Student then proceeded as though successful and they secured the tube. Step 26. Assessor prompt. What would you do next after you finish the procedure? I would document the procedure in the patient's chart, including the depth of the ET tube as it was noted at the teeth.